guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my fall favorites. I don't have a lot, but I do have a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. Starting off with this Starbucks pumpkin spice latte coffee creamer. I have been loving this stuff. I am really picky with um, pumpkin coffee creamers. My next favorite besides this one is the... Oh, I forget what brand it is. I'll put a picture right here though. Um, but it's like the dairy-free pumpkin coffee creamer that came out last year. Um, but this one has more of like a spice to it and less of a pumpkin flavor. And I think that's what I like about it is that a lot of these um, pumpkin coffee creamers that they're coming out with are very, very pumpkin-y, but they don't have enough pumpkin spice. And so um, that's what I love about this one. And then kind of in that same category is this Ray Dunn um, stainless steel travel mug. Now I'm not a Ray Dunn collector. Um, this is my very first Ray Dunn item and I honestly just got it because it's just cute. It says fall y'all. Um, but this has come, this has been so convenient lately. Um, when I want to take hot coffee anywhere and I feel like lately like honestly in the past week in particular I've been running so many errands every single day and um, I, so I've been using this a lot and I can just take my coffee on the go and it stays hot and it's just been working out perfectly um, so like I said I'm not a Ray Dunn collector um, I do think Ray Dunn is cute but I just don't have like the room in my house to store a bunch of Ray Dunn products. But if I ever do see more of these stainless steel um, mugs at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I will definitely be picking some up because they are just really good quality. They keep your coffee hot. Um, I haven't tried it cold yet because I do live in Seattle and it's rainy um, and it's cold here. I don't need iced coffee this time of year. Um, but it does a really good job at keeping your coffee hot. And then another thing that I have been loving and using quite a bit lately is this tiny little waffle iron. It's um, a Dash waffle iron. I ordered it off Amazon, but I, I also, I hauled it in another video and I talked about how it took so long to get here, even though I ordered it on Amazon and it was prime. Um, but they have this same one at Kohl's. Um, and it's just a waffle with a little pumpkin imprint, but what I especially love about it is how tiny it is because it makes like Eggo sized waffles, which is perfect for the kids. Um, our other waffle iron, it's not even that big, but the waffles that it makes are still a bit too big for my little kids. So this makes perfect kid sized waffles. If you're not like super into a pumpkin imprint or fall like I am, they do have this exact same iron. Um, th that just makes normal plain waffles, but they m it makes them in this tiny little mini size. I personally love the little pumpkin stamp though on the waffles. I think it's so cute. It's super fun for kids in fall time. Um, I, I don't think my daughter notices. She's only two, but my seven-year-old definitely gets a kick out of it. And so um, this is another favorite. And then I'm going to move on to just like some household stuff. The first is the Miss Myers Acorn Spice Spray. This is my new favorite Miss Myers scent of all time. Previously, the apple cider scent was my favorite. This one even tops that. It smells so good. It has kind of like, it definitely has like a spice to it. It's almost like a very light, um, I would almost call it like a light Christmassy scent. Um, but it definitely works for fall. It's very like woodsy and natural um, and I just I love it. I still love the uh, apple cider scent. It's definitely still um, one of my favorites but this just it even tops that one. It smells so so good and so I'm definitely going to be um, ordering more of these from Grove Collaborative and stocking up on them um, so that I can use them even when the season ends um, because they are seasonal. You can only get them during fall time so um, this is one that I will definitely be stocking up on. And then another little home item are these Febreze plugins in the apple scent. These smell so good and they make my house smell so, so good. Um, I only put them on like the, the very minimum because you can adjust like how much you want it to smell and I put it on the lowest setting um, and it makes my house smell so good. Um, especially like because I have one in my bathroom and so um, my bathroom is more enclosed and so as soon as you open the door to the ba my bathroom you smell it right away. And it's just such a lovely fall scent. 
um, is the apple one. Pretty sure the apple is another one that's only seasonal, so I might um, stock up on the apple scent as well, so that way I can have it all year round, because um, most of the Febreze scents I feel like are very summery and like Hawaiian breeze and all that and those aren't really my favorite scents I much prefer like fall and winter scents so um the it's it's a very like sweet apple so it's something that would work all year round but I'm pretty sure they only sell it during fall time um but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure but I've been loving the apple scent and then something that I have I honestly haven't been using it that often and you can kind of tell because it's practically full but it's this pumpkin picking um, Bath and Body Works spray. I got this at the semi-annual sale um, and it's just a nice it's just a nice light pumpkin scent. I mentioned this in a vlog it's not as good as the sweet cinnamon pumpkin um, but it's still really nice. It has like a nice like vanilla-y undertone it's got a little bit of a spice to it and um, it's just a very like nice light pumpkin scent especially if um you like the lighter scents I I feel like this one is lighter than sweet cinnamon pumpkin but it's very similar to sweet cinnamon pumpkin so um I just wanted to give this just a little mention in this favorites because I haven't been using it a lot mostly because um I just haven't been using body sprays a lot in general but um I do really like it even though I haven't been using just sprays in general that often um, so I wanted to give it a little mention, um, because it is my only, like, fall, like, uh, like, super, like, blatantly fall-themed, um, like, body care item that I have been using lately. And then I've got a couple things for the kids. The first is lavender oil and eucalyptus oil, um, and I've been putting a little bit of these in their baths at night. Um, and I just feel like it helps them to calm down a little bit before bedtime. Um, I just put a teeny, teeny, tiny bit in their bathtub because with oils like this, you definitely want to dilute them down. But also I noticed that when I would um, wash the kids' hair and rinse their hair, if I was using bathtub water, it would make their hair like greasy when they got out. So um, I just put a tiny bit of oil in and then when I rinse like soap out of their hair and stuff, I use like fresh water from the the tap um, so that way it gets all the oil out of their hair and it doesn't look greasy the next day but I just feel like it, um, the lavender and eucalyptus like the scent of it just really helps to calm them down at the end of the day um, I'm not super into essential oils and that's pretty much the only thing I ever use essential oils for is like bath time and um, I've been really loving that combination and then this is something I actually got for myself a long time ago and it's this hair finishing cream it's basically like a clear mascara but it has hair gel in it um, and it looks like this and I originally got it for myself to like tame my flyaways and stuff, but this actually works amazing on both my kids' hair. My son's hair, like his haircut currently is very short, and so it's always like sticking up in random places when I'm trying to brush it down and make him look nice and handsome. And so this really helps to just flatten out the pieces that are sticking up. And then with my daughter's hair, when I'm putting it up in like a bun or ponytail or whatever, whenever I'm styling her hair, it just helps keep the flyaways down. So I love Love this for both of my kids it's great for boys and girls I will definitely be repurchasing it when I'm all out because it's it's so easy to use um, and then like you also don't have to get like your hands sticky or anything messing with gel or mousse or anything like that and so it's just really really convenient to um, have this for their hair and then another thing I wanted to mention is this planner I've actually had this planner since January it is a Katie Daisy planner and Katie Daisy is a um, artist. Um, I actually follow her on Instagram. As you can tell, my planner is well loved. I've got some like spilled ink here. My daughter's colored on the cover and stuff. Um, but uh, like I said, I've been like just out and about in general a lot lately. Um, I've had so many appointments and everything and it's just so nice to have this in my purse. So whenever I like have to schedule an appointment or, you know, double check what time I have to be somewhere, um, it's just nice to have this in my purse. In the past, I've always loved bigger planners because I like to just have more room to write stuff down and make lists and stuff. But this has just, especially within the past month, 
Um, it's proven to be very convenient to just have it in my purse at all times. Um, she actually, this is a, I think 17 month uh, calendar. So this one went from August 20... 18 yeah it went from august 2018 and it will last me until december um until basically the new year so it's an, an over a year long calendar it's like a year and a half long calendar um and they already have the 2019 2020 calendar out which starts in um it started in august 2019 and so i would recommend getting that one instead of this one because this one's going to be done in three months um, whereas the other one you can use for a year and a half still um, it does have a different cover I'll put a picture of it here um, and I'll probably um, go ahead and I'm probably gonna purchase that one um, when I'm done with this one because it's just it's a really nice perfect size planner and also it's just like super here I'll show you a page that I haven't written on it's just like super artistic and cute because it's designed by Katie Daisy who again is an artist and so if you're really into like I don't know like florals and I don't know outdoorsy sort of designs um, that's what she mostly does is like florals and it's just a really gorgeous planner on top of being super convenient and then the very very last thing I have is the Margaret Aunt Atwood the Handmaid's Tale book I have not finished this yet um, I don't get a lot of time to read at home, um, because whenever I do have free time, I usually film a YouTube video. But, um, as you guys know, I am pregnant. I am going to the doctor, like, two to three times per week at this point. And so I spend a lot of time in the waiting room. So every time I'm in the waiting room, um, I just keep this in my purse and I will read a little bit of it. It's taking me a long time to get through it because I only ever read it when I'm in the waiting room. But, um... So far I'm loving it and it's really, I watched the show before I read the book and, and the more that I read this, the more I realize like how much um, the show includes of the book. Obviously there are, um, there's a lot of differences, but there's also a lot of stuff in the show that's like exactly the way it is in the book. And so I've been really impressed by how well the show, or at least the first season of the show, has stuck to the book's storyline. Um, I'm gonna need to keep reading to see if it continues to do that or see if the show has like kind of gone off track a bit. But so far I've been really, really enjoying this book. So that is it for um, my fall favorites for 2019. I almost forgot what year it was, even though I was literally just talking about a planner. Um, but that's it for my fall favorites for this year. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I think I've done a fall favorites, like, or a fall maybe fall essentials or something every year that I've been on YouTube. So I will link all of my past years down below. Um, if you want to check those out, if you're interested in what I liked last year, or the year before or any of that, um, because most of it is like, you know, like pumpkin and fashion, fall fashion and stuff themed that would still relate today. So, um, I'll link those down below for you guys. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.